Hi, today we are going to explain the electric flux density or the displacement and we are going to talk about the significance of this uh, of this vector that we are going to derive right now. Imagine that we have some dielectric in free space and this dielectric exists in the free space and it doesn't undergo any effect from an external electric field. Actually, the electric field generated from this dielectric is equal to the charge density of the free charges inside this dielectric. We all know that the majority of charges inside dielectrics are bound by molecules. But in case of ordinary electric dielectrics, not perfect ones, we have free charges inside them. And the electric field generated by this dielectric is equal to the charge density of the free charges, okay? And I use the subscript F, which denotes two free, free charges inside the dielectric. Now, uh, let's assume that this dielectric undergoes an, uh, an effect of, of an external electric field. The charges will be aligned with the, uh, the exerted electric field and organized in such a way that the negative charges are accumulated on one side and the positive charges are accumulated on the other side. And this phenomena is known by the polarization. And now under this, this case, we have a new couple of, of charge density. We have a surface charge density on the, sur on the surface of the dielectric Okay, what I mean by the surface charge density, these charges on the surface, and we have a volume charge density within the bulk of the dielectric. Now, the total electric field generated by this dielectric is going actually to be changed. Now, under an external, under the effect of external electric field, to this divergence equation, I'm going to add the effect, the charge density, the polarization charge density, which I am going to represent by P, by rho, sub P. P denotes to the polarization. Okay, and sorry, I forgot the uh, the epsilon sub zero, which is the permittivity of the free space. Okay? Okay, and in a previous lecture, in a previous lectures, we have proved that, that the volume charge density polarization, rho sub P, is equal to the divergence of the polarization is, is equal to the negative divergence of the polarization vector. Now let's substitute the right hand side of this equation for rho sub p in this equation, and we will have now do some basic algebra and transfer all, all divergence operators to one side. Now let's unify these div uh, these two divergence operation from the uh, from both these both terms, and finally we retrieved to this form of equation. We are going to denote to all of this term by one uh, vic by, by a new vector quantity, which is d vector quantity, which is which is representing the electric field, the electric flux density, or the displacement. And the significant and the significance of the electric flux density vector or the dis electric displacement that we can write this divergence formula in this way. As in this divergence equation, we can write the electric field. We can write the electric field for the polarized media in terms of if the free charges only, without handling the. Uh, without handling the polarization vector P or or the volume charge density rho sub P explicitly. And from this equation, I'm going to derive Gauss's law by taking the volume uh, integration for both sides. And the volume integration for the divergence is equal to the surface integral for the displacement vector. And the volume integral for the volume density over free charges is equal to the total 
is equal to the total free charges enclosed in the surface. And for this, I'm going to use the subscript F, which denotes to free, and enclose, and E and C, which denotes to enclosed. And this is Gauss's law that we have derived, that we have already de derived. It's stating that the total outward flux of the electric displacement is equal to the total free charges enclosed in the surface. By other words, let's, let's, let's assume that we have this uh, volume, this surface like this, okay? And we have a sum, uh, and we have an electric field penetrating this uh, surface. Now, the total outward flux of the electric displacement, okay, is equal to the total free charges enclosed in this surface, okay? It's equal to Q enclosed, which is the total free charges enclosed in this uh, closed surface. This is the NCU.